Hello and welcome to those of you watching live and um, for those of you watching the replay later. Um, my name is Brent Thompson. I am the new executive director of uh, legal services of Broward County. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Um, we are continuing with awards week here at Legal Aid. Um, and I'm excited and happy that we are now presenting <laughs> the Attorney of the Year Award. Um, this, year, this award goes to the attorney who has gone above and beyond to support our mission and those we serve, um, serving our, our community and improving access to justice for those underserved and vulnerable throughout Broward County. Um, we truly value our community partners and are always excited to honor them um, with awards such as this. Uh, so without further ado, I'd like to turn things over to Douglas Reynolds. Uh, Doug is our board president uh, and a, an attorney with Tripp Scott, uh, who himself is a, is a valued member of the private bar and we're fortunate to have him. Um, Doug, go ahead. Thank you, Brent. On behalf of the board of directors of Legal Aid, the staff and employees of Legal Aid and the clients and communities we serve, it is my honor and privilege to announce that the 2002 recipient of the Lawyer of the Award, Year Award is Jay Cohen. Jay is a senior partner at Cohen, Blostein, and Ayata, PA. His practice includes plaintiff personal injury, medical malpractice, and complex commercial litigation. As a Florida attorney, Jay represents individuals and families who suffer due to the negligence of others. His experience and professionalism have earned him membership in the American Board of Trial Advocates, where he has earned the distinction of Lawyer of the Year as well as from his peers. He is also a finalist for two years running for the Daily Business Review's Best Medical Malpractice Lawyer. He is also the recipient of the American's Top 100 Lawyers Lifetime Achievement Award and the Broward County Bar Association's Professionalism Award. Jay is AV permanent rated by Martindale Hubble. Jay has won numerous large jury word verdicts in medical malpractice, other personal injury and complex commercial litigation cases in the state of Florida. He is involved in numerous bar associations, activities, and was elected to serve as a member of the Florida Bar of Governors for nine years. He was an adjunct professor at Nova University and St. Thomas University. Jay has represented both plaintiffs and defendants in litigation. In addition to his many years representing victims of medical negligence, he has successfully defended hospitals and doctors for over 25 years. Because of his broad perspective on litigation process, he continues to be an invited lecturer to hospitals and physician groups, as well as to the Plaintiff's Trial Bar Association. Most recently, and especially we are thankful for, Jay was instrumental in directing a 350,000 SIPRI award to legal aid service of Broward County. SIPRI awards are important funding source for legal aid programs throughout the country. In many class action cases, a large part of the settlement fund or judgment remains unspent for various reasons. In those situations, the court is faced with the issue of how to dispose of the remaining money in the common fund. Cypress awards are used to distribute those unclaimed funds and earmark them to be used for the next best compensation. In this case, it was legal aid services for Broward and Collier counties. The impact of the funds that Jay was able to acquire for legal aid cannot be understated. They make a direct and significant impact in the daily operations of our organization and have directly benefited our staff and employees. Jay, we could not be more thankful. The SIPRI award comes at a time when there's an increased demand for the services provided by legal aid services because Jay's foresight and advocacy will be able to continue to provide the disadvantage of Broward County with high quality, free legal, civil legal advice, representation, education. This will directly impact the lifestyle and living conditions for low income persons in our community. Jay. On behalf of Legal Aid, we cannot thank you enough for making such a positive difference in our community over the past decades of service, as well as with this generous award. Thank you. So congratulations for being the 2022 Legal Aid Attorney of the Year. Thank you, Doug, and thank you so much for your kind words. Uh, let me reiterate a few points that I'd, that I'd like to at least um, certainly uh, get across concerning the import of legal aid and why it was important to me. Legal aid is dedicated to helping those who need legal services and can't afford to secure it for themselves. Like any organization though, uh, it's the people that are so committed to the goals and the mission of legal aid that are most impressive to me. 
they assist with the issues of housing and public benefits and education and children and consumer rights, homelessness, immigration, victimization, veterans, and even more for those who can't afford the services of a lawyer and a staff like Legal Aid has uh, supporting their legal services. Uh, these professionals live the life of public service and community caring that is more rewarding than so many other uh, practices. I, it requires though the support of others because financially it's under supported and at times underfunded. I'm blessed to help the victims that I do in many ways as a lawyer and a counselor. It's the closest thing that I can get to the job and the commitment that legal aid provides. Over the many years I have made my financial commitments like many of you have to legal aid. And when I had the opportunity to do even more, legal aid was on my mind. Cypre awards, as Doug has indicated, are a way to give back. It, it's the distribution of money from a class action settlement to a charitable organization. Typically in class action cases, as Doug indicated, not all money will be claimed by class members. Those unclaimed monies are the way to give back in the community and get the intended recovery to good use. But you have to think of doing it. You have to put that in your mind when you have the opportunity to do so in any class action. And I encourage any one of you who become involved in class actions and who prosecute these claims on behalf of a number of individuals who have been victimized to think of those funds that are left over to support charitable organizations and legal aid particularly. I hope that all of you will do so in the future when given the opportunity. So don't thank me for this. Let me instead thank you for all what you do and for this very, very nice recognition. Thank you again, everyone. Thank you, Jay, for those kind of words. I know the staff really appreciate it. And uh, I, I will take the opportunity to thank you yet again. Um, I want to thank you on behalf of the board, our staff, uh, and most of all, our clients. Um, you know, Jay, you really are uh, the example for the modern day attorney. And I hope many better people follow your lead. Um, if you'd like to contribute to Legal Aid um, and you'd like to uh, help out, such as Jay did, um, please follow the links on our Facebook page or on our um, websites. Again, those links can be found in our Facebook page. Um, again, thank you all for joining us. We appreciate it. Um, we hope to see you uh, later on for the, 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 the presentations coming later this week. Uh, have a good day and thanks so much.